Today, it's full speed ahead for the San Jose Unified School District with, as the state wants it, all in-class instruction with independent studies available for families who choose to stay at home. And that optimistic attitude doesn't seem to be affected by worries over a cluster of new cases elsewhere. The first day of school is still a couple of weeks away in San Jose, but the San Jose Unified School District already had some teachers in class today. It was new teacher orientation day at the district office and online. The president of the 1500 member San Jose Teachers Association says new outbreaks like the one in Brentwood have not dimmed enthusiasm. They're excited to be back with students. Uh, they're starting to be back to something that feels uh, closer to normal. Bernhard says the public health department will guide teachers and the district if or when outbreaks happen here. There are multiple cases, um, particularly among uh, unvaccinated students, and that was, would be in the, in the lower grade levels, uh, then, then that may necessitate uh, that, that individual classrooms uh, have to quarantine, um, and those will be kind of handled on a on a case by case basis. The superintendent points out the district is confident in its protocols, first rolled out last spring, and isn't overly concerned about what happens in other districts. Every district is in a unique context. Case um, counts are very different uh, by county, and even within a county, uh, case numbers uh, vary. And so we are constantly monitoring our context, the data that exists here in Santa Clara County and in our zip code areas. In addition to the protocols, the teachers union says 90% of the teachers have been vaccinated and those who choose not to will wear masks and get tested twice a week. In San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News. Okay.